Now, don't expect much out of the Max Track Live Doppler overnight or into tomorrow. That'll change, but for today, don't expect much. And overnight last night, things got hop, and there's the tail end of the storms that went barreling through Dayton, Columbus, Ohio, to the south of it, and then eventually off into southeastern parts of Ohio. You can see those storms rapidly exiting, but it was late last night. And if we uh, zoom in, get a closer look, uh, you'll be able to see that was the storm as it went through North Dayton. And you can start to see that hook coming around the back end of that cell. And it was a tornadic supercell. As we advance out into time, there's about 20 after 11 last night. And you can easily see that hook echo coming around the back end of that storm. Uh, the inflow notch, the tornado as well as that heavy rain and hail core. But where things were just devastating for uh, along 75 north of Dayton and then running down through Wright Pat, it was as this storm just continued to gather strength and here it's a little more obvious there was something called a debris ball wrapping around the back end of that storm, which basically is debris that's uh, lofted and the radar interprets as it as heavy rain and hail. It's an indication of a tornado on the ground uh, more often than not and uh, damage ongoing and boy, did they have damage up across Dayton. That's a look at the shear track indications of rotation, strong rotation. And you can see it cutting across 75 north of Dayton and then cruising on towards uh, Columbus where they had multiple supercells south of Columbus and uh, a whole lot in the way of warnings. And here they are. Uh, from last night, the one that impacted Dayton, the few that were south of Columbus. And if you look at the expanse of this, this has been a topic the last couple of weeks. We've got this big heat ridge south and east. We just continue to see severe storms developing and redeveloping over the same area. And it's not just severe storms, it's heavy rain and flooding, which you've heard of back to the west. And look what's going on today. Yet another enhanced and now a moderate risk, northern Missouri, southern Iowa, punching into western Illinois. And then tomorrow that risk continues, a slight to enhanced risk, but also included parts of the uh, bluegrass running into southern counties. We've got a marginal risk for severe storms tomorrow right here at home. A little weakness in the ridge and a possibility of a round of storms diving in here. And then Thursday it pushes back northeast again. So the future track trying to develop an isolated shower storm today. I don't think it's going to amount to much of anything. We just got these puffy cumulus clouds firing up. Now tomorrow it's not going to be a clear cut shot, but we'll see development out west in the morning. We may have a few strong to severe storms racing through into the afternoon and evening and then see some additional storm coverage tomorrow as a cold front or I should say Thursday after tomorrow as a cold front sweeps through. Uh, so there are changes ahead and there will be some active weather right here at home as opposed to off to the north and west, which it's been repeatedly for weeks now. 82 degrees, a beautiful day. If you like it warm and muggy, look at that dew point temperature. It's in the mid 60s. So we've got an air temperature in the low 80s. You've got a dew point in the 60s. Had somebody ask me via Twitter, what, what's the dew point again? The higher the number, the stickier you're going to get. Uh, so yeah, when it's getting into that uh, green to yellow range, especially when you have a dew point in the low 70s, it's getting pretty steamy out there. So we've got a hot and muggy day on the way. Not a whole lot in the way of any kind of shower storm potential. That ticks up Wednesday into Thursday. And then look, behind it, temperatures briefly dip. We may have a day in the upper 70s. One day into the weekend, we're back into the 80s. Could be some late weekend storm chances to wrangle with as well. All right, Tom, thanks so much.